everyone, this is Denicia, and today we'll discuss goal setting. If it's setting a goal to lose weight right before like springtime to not eating that piece of chocolate when you really, really want it, we have challenged ourselves with this particular subject. So that's why I want to cover it today. So there are seven ways of being able to achieve your goals. I'd say the first one that's so important is to write it down. Being able to pull that knowledge from your brain, put in on paper or on your notepad or whatever it is, is key to being able to be successful. When you're able to write something down, saying that you want to move forward, it allows it to be easier for you to make it happen. Number two is make time for it. Being able to just say, I want to be able to take a Friday evening every week to make time for this and do just that. Being able to make time for it allows you to say, I'm going to plan out this time to make this happen. Number three is put it on your calendar of how you're going to change your habits in order to make it happen. Um, so if it's from a, if it's a situation where you wanting to lose weight or you want to cut the sugar, well, that may mean that you're not going to go to the store and get chocolate ice cream or that you may end up getting um, something that's a little bit healthier with regards to your your diet. Maybe it's eating a salad instead or having some fruit or some vegetables. Whatever it will take, making sure that you can just draw out a plan of how you're going to make that happen in your life and your habits is key to achieving that goal. Number four is monitoring your progress. Look at things from a standpoint of when you achieve your goal to two weeks forward, how have you changed? Are you getting closer to your goal or is it you're getting further away? And what if you're getting further away? What are the things that you want to do in order to make sure that you change your habits to move forward? Number five is tell others about your goal. Being able to verbalize what you want and how to achieve it is so important to fulfilling those goals. It also allows you to have support from your friends and family so they can check on you and follow up. Number six is being persistent. Being persistent is key to achieving your goal. So being persistent means maybe setting an alarm on a daily basis to get up early in the morning in order to work out or being able to just practice looking at the things that you're actually doing well with achieving your goal every day and patting yourself on the back when you need it. But being persistent is key to making sure that you're moving forward to your goal at a faster pace than ever. And last but not least, number seven is celebrate your achievements. Um, I've been in situations where I have created a goal and then it's on to the next. And what that does is it devalues the celebration. It's really important to celebrate your achievements on a regular basis. It allows you to be in the present, and you deserve the pat on the back. So just remember before you write down a goal that you want to achieve uh, right after you're celebrating, just take really time. take everything in and say, I've done this, I'm going to take a break, and then move forward. This allows you to be in the present and a really good way of staying happy in the present with what you have opposed to I'm never going to be happy unless I get this achieved. So that's the seven tips to make sure that you're successful goal setting. Let me know how it goes. Comment below if you're on the YouTube channel and if you're on the podcast, feel free to send an email or come onto the YouTube channel and let us know how you're doing. Okay. Until the next time we meet, be beautiful and be well. Bye.